Do you consider the knot of Henry with your medial foot pain? You should. I'm going to show you exactly how to find it. Now, just think of it as an intersection syndrome like you get at the wrist where FDL crosses with FHL. I'm going to show you two ways of finding the knot of Henry. The first one is following a tendon. Can you see the left side of the probe is next to the malleolus there? Now, as we come down, you can the, the landmark you look for initially is the medial malleolus. Just behind that posterior is tibialis posterior, and then you've got FDL. So we're actually going to follow the FDL because remember the knot of N Henry is where FDL overlaps with FHL. Now, just keep an eye on the FDL. Okay, you can see the deltoid ligament nicely underneath. Now, FDL is a small tendon and it will go dark about now. Make sure you're tilting your probe up into the foot there to get a nice image. So this is FDL, this is the sustentaculum tali. That's an important landmark to look out for. As we come down, you will lose it a little bit. You need to tilt even more. And as we keep going, you can see it goes dark because of an isotropy. And if I just tilt the probe, I make it nice and bright. As we come around the corner, you need to then identify FHL. Now FHL is now sitting underneath FDL. Can you see it almost looks like a bit of a coffee bean? Now, if I just move the big toe, you can see FHL tendon moving underneath. So on top, we've got F FDL. Underneath, we've got FHL. So this is the knot of Henry. Look for any thickening of the tendon, any fluid in the sheath. And obviously, you can put your power doppler on to look for any um, increased vascularity. And just think of it as an intersection syndrome. So can you see it as I just move transverse? From proximal to distal it actually fdl just moves over the top of fhl so you can see it really nicely now we can also get a nice image of this in long section so if we spin here good so if we spin now this is a really nice picture just to orientate yourself fhl is the one moving underneath i'd always recommend that you as the operator move the toe rather than asking the patient to do it because everything moves in one go. So this is FHL running all the way from the left to the right. Now, on top of it is FDL where it overlaps, okay? So we should get it in oblique, which we've got here. So if I then just move the FHL, you can see a bit of the FDL on top and that's where you're going to look for that pain. Now, you can also just palpate it with your finger to see if that indicates whether that's where the pain is coming from. But often you might need to do a local anaesthetic injection just to identify that that's where it's coming from. So again, FHL on top, you can see FDL, and this is where they're overlapping, okay? Now, a slight cheap way of looking for it, um, I'd always recommend that you do it the first way, but if you just pop one finger on the navicular, one finger on the back of the heel, if you place the probe across that in transverse and tilt the probe, then you can normally pick up FDL. If you then wiggle the big toe, you can see the FHL tendon underneath the sustum tacum tali. And then you just follow it down towards the big toe until you get that coffee bean, which you can see there where you've got FHL underneath and FDL. And then again, you can spin into long and use your FHL to identify it. So there's a couple of ways of looking at the knot of Henry. Did you find that video useful? If you did, don't worry, we've got loads more videos for you. You can like our videos, you can make a comment, you can subscribe to our channel to get all of our new videos, and you can even join our membership. Good luck scanning.